Hello there. On July 12, this year, July 12, 2014, that's a Saturday, there will be a serious software seminar, you know, an online seminar. Uh, so, for example, on the west coast of the United States, Pacific time, that will be from 9 in the morning to 12 noon, so it's a three-hour seminar. If you're on the east coast of the United States, for example, that will be 12 noon to 3 p.m. In England, it would be 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. In Germany, for example, which is a one-hour east time zone, it'll be 6 to 9 p.m., etc. around the world. You can figure it out from there if you're located in some other place. But just to give you an idea of a few locations. So it's Saturday, July 12. Uh, and what I'm doing now is I'm working with different astrological organizations, uh, you know, to, to provide things, to reach out to different people. So this is being sponsored by Kepler College. Their website is www.kepler.edu, and they are charging $25 for the seminar. So it's, it's a different kind of a thing than these tutorial videos, because it's interactive. You can type in your questions uh, and have, you know, a more live kind of experience. Um, and what I'm going to do in the seminar is I'm not going to just tell you what buttons to press or what to do. I've got lots of tutorial videos here uh, to show you that. Um, I'm going to talk more about how these features can be used to meet the needs of your clients, uh, of your research, of your studies, of the way you analyze charts, of an astrological business, whatever it is you want to do in the 21st century, how things are changing, how we're meeting those needs, uh, so it's going to be about ways to use the features of Sirius to improve the way you communicate with others and improve any astrological services you provide. So, for example, ways to improve lectures you give. There's ways to use Sirius software in ways that can improve your lectures, ways to improve any articles you write, ways to improve teaching. So if you're a professional or semi-professional and you write or you speak or you, you know, teach, um, there are things you can do, things you might not have thought about. Um, and we're going to mention things like how to speak to non-astrologers if you give a lecture. How do you approach this? And there are interesting things you can use the Sirius software to do uh, to approach it in a way that you might not have thought about. We'll talk about the power of websites. Maybe you have a website, maybe you don't. How you can attract people to visit your website. Free services you can provide using your Sirius software. Things that you might not have thought about. So this is going to be creative brainstorming. I'll be putting things out there you can share your ideas, your questions by typing in. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and it's nice to do this live once in a while as, as things develop and change. Uh, you know, we can share what's going on. So again, it's July 12. It's a three-hour seminar through, through the Kepler College. It'll be $25. We'll talk about graphic information. Uh, there are some really cool graphic features in Sirius that really speak to people. Um, ways that people can benefit from them. I'll show you some of those, just just as examples of how you can use the software in ways you might have not have thought about. Um, also, you know, if you're an astrologer, most of us specialize in particular areas. Astrology is too vast for anybody to be proficient in all the different areas. But why it's good to have features outside of your specialization, things you can do with that, even though you're not an expert in it. Uh, and the huge resources of Sirius, how this becomes useful, why you might be interested in these things. You know, everybody's different. Everybody has different strategies. I'm not telling you you must have a certain strategy. Of course not, but just sharing different ways of looking at things, different ways you can leverage the software, use the software in ways you might not have thought about. I'm always thinking of new ways or people giving me new ways. It's an ongoing process. Uh, and ways you can do this in a responsible and competent manner, even if you're not an expert in you know, some other area. All, all of us are not experts in everything. Astrology is too big for that. Uh, ways we're dealing with the new solar system. Um, why continuing to work with only the sun, moon, and the planets up to Pluto keeps you in the dark ages and out of touch with the current world. Uh, I'm not saying you have to put Ceres in your chart or, you know, some other asteroid, but why I'm saying it's good to be aware of these things. How you can be in touch with it, how you can communicate with people to show that you're aware that we're in, a, in the 21st century with a new solar system and, and ways that it's important in your communications, uh, the way you teach, write, communicate with the world, um, how we're keeping up with, with what's going on. Um, so again, it's an opportunity uh, to be live and interactive, share some ideas together, you can type in your questions and your thoughts. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, it's a good thing to do once in a while. 
Um, it does cost $25, unlike these, these tutorial videos. Um, you know, but it's a different experience. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. I hope you can make it. Um, and I hope to see you there. Okay, take care. God bless. Namaste.